on the bag or shadow boxing, we're all gonna work just as hard, okay? So, first thing, we're gonna do our 30 second jog in place. When the bell gets going, I want you to follow along with coach. And go ahead, I want you just to start jogging in place, please. Good job, you guys. Okay, remember, this is where I start to get it, really get in that, that mindset, right? I'm running away from whatever I was doing today. Okay, it's gonna be there after class. These next 45 minutes, we're running towards each other, towards our Muay Thai class. Good. Okay, keep going. Go six, five. We're gonna go to high knees next. Three, two, one. Let's get our high knees going. Drive those shoulders. Get your knees all the way. Who can get their knees all the way up? Boom. Good. Nice, Marcos. Rocking the tie-dye today. Looking sharp. Good, Talia. Yes, get those knees up. Up. And let's go butt kickers. Get your heels up. Good. Look how coach uses his hands. Okay. You guys can do that too. That'll tell you and make sure that you're getting your, your heels up. Good, you guys. Okay, get ready. We're going to drop it down to our tie hops in three, two, one. So I'm down here on the balls of my feet. Little baby jumps, right? That's it. Okay, if this hurts your knees like me, you can do squats, but I think most of your knees are fine enough to do it. There you go. Good. Keep going. Next one's going to be mountain climbers in three, two, one. Hands on the mat. Good. Under your shoulders. We're going knee to elbow. Let's go. Hey, keep driving, you guys. Let's keep working. Remember, this warm-up's one of the hardest parts. I want to get my wind out now. Four, three, two, one. Skip knees today. We're going to do skip knees in place. Hey, so remember, knee, skip, knee, skip, skip knees in place. Let's go. Push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. Let's go. Let's go. Five, four. Three, two, one, jumping jacks. Let's go. Jumping jacks, 20 seconds. Okay, we got about another minute and a half on our warm up. Let's go jumping jacks now, everybody. Hey, Esther, good to see you. Let's go, let's go. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Back to high knees, please. Good, looking at coach. That's it, you guys, good job. Get them all the way up. Get them all, nice, Esther. And butt kickers, get your heels up. Hey, everybody say wave to Professor Amal. This is here. We got Coach Kate, we got Cole and Clayton. Nice. Maria, Cole. Allie, Logan and Gus, Justin, Talia, Marcos, Danny, Grayson, Esther, Coach E. Oh, and Mateo just jumped on. Where's Esther? And Ty Hobbs. Nice, looking nice, good, Esther. everyone. So this might be a new one for you. Dropping low, almost like you're a catcher in baseball. Good, nice. Hopefully you guys all got to say hello to Professor Amal. Super cool, let's go, keep going. And mountain climbers, hands on the mats. Go, drive those, drive those hips. Beautiful, you can use all of our coaches, Coach Kate, has the most perfect example of these mountain climbers. Use that as your example. And Coach Josh. Coach Josh is using Coach Kate now. Good. Let's hop up on your feet, please. Hey, I want straight punches. So just nice and loose right here. Just back and forth. Straight punches, jabs and crosses. That's it, you guys. Good. Good. Let's pick that speed. Eyes up. Eyes up. Good, not up here, you're not climbing, straight up. And let's go hooks. Good, remember my arms bent and I'm pivoting through my hips. Good, almost there, almost there. Rotate that body, Esther, on those hooks. Good, and uppercuts, uppercuts now, same thing. Drop, up, drop, up, hush, 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 hush. Good, we got 10 seconds. All your punches, put it all together. Jabs, hooks, uppercuts. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and time. Very good. Catching our breath a little bit, okay? We're gonna go into our calisthenics, which really is getting us in the habit of counting in time, okay? So try to repeat after me. I think most of you 
are getting better with your tie numbers, but if it sounds silly, just try to make the same sound that I made, okay? Starting with jumping jacks, going to 10, and ready. Noon. Noon. Song. Song. Sam. Sam. C. C. Ha. Ha. Ho. Ho. Jet. Jet. Bet. Bet. Gal. Gal. C. C. Good. Make yourself into a star. Cross jacks. Ready. Noon. Noon. Song. Song. Sam. Sam. C. C. Ha. Ha. Ho. Ho. Jet. Jet. Bet. Bet. Gal. Gal. C. C. Beautiful. Next one will be our squats. Guys, let's make sure. We're going all the way down. Okay, my knee, this should be like the edge of a square. Okay, not here, not too crazy. I want you all the way down and back up. Squats, ready. And noon. Noon. Good. Song. Song. Sam. Sam. Nice, Marco. C. C. Good, Esther. Ha. Ha. Nice, Talia. Ho. Ho. Jet. Jet. Bet. Bet. Good, Colin Clayton. Jet, bet. Go. Go. And see. see. Good job. Sometimes I forget too, you guys. If I don't go straight through an order. Very good job. Okay. Let's tie into a couple weeks ago. We went over our knees. Okay. So everybody in here, we've gone through our stance. Okay, let's keep our hips square on the balls of our feet. Go in your regular stance. We're going to do our rear knee. Okay. Same side arm swings down. Opposite hand salute. Point my toe. Lula hips on the ball of my foot, and all the way back, okay? We're gonna do five, which will go to ha. Ready, in your stance, show me that rhythm. And noon. Noon. Good, song. Song. Sam. Sam. C. C. And ha. Ha. Everybody, I want you to switch your feet, yes sir. Yes sir. All right, ready, opposite side, ready. Noon. Noon. Song. Song. Sam. Sam. C. C. And ha. ha. Good. Back to your regular stance. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're going to do five Muay Thai burpees together. Remember the Muay Thai burpee. Hands go down. I touch my hip. I come back up. And I don't just jump. What do I do? I throw the flying knee landing in my stance. Hey, okay, ready? In your stance, Muay Thai burpees. And no. No. Good. Song. Song. Get those heads off the screen. Sam. Sam. Let me see it. Who's got the hops? Nice. C. C. Come on, last one. Make your best jump. And ha. Ha. Hold your stance. Hold your stance. Hold your stance, please. Let me see everybody in a good Muay Thai stance. Chins down. Guard up. And relax. Very good. Guys, take about 20 seconds if you need a quick sip of water. When you come back, we're gonna go into our mat chat, which Coach Kate will do, okay? On three, quick sip of water, ready? One, two, three, hush! Let's go. 20 seconds starts now. All right. Hey, Coach Matt, quick question. Yes, sir. Is Justin also a coach? Yes, sorry. Yeah, cool, Justin. I thought you looked very official. Some good Muay Thai. All right, let's bring it back in, Logan and Gus. Let's go ahead and take our seated, sir. Good, okay. We're gonna kick it over to Coach Kate for our mat chat. Hey, let's keep good focus, right? Make sure we're raising our hands if we know the answer to anything. It might take a second for Coach E to unmute you, but just sit tight, okay? And take it away, Coach. Hey, guys, welcome, welcome. Hey, everybody who is here on Tuesday, raise your hand and hold it up real high for me. Nice, all right, now, Keep your hand up high if you remember what we were talking about for a mat chat on Tuesday. All right. How about we go with, is that Cole? Cole, what were we talking about for mat chat Tuesday? So Give it just a second, we'll unmute you, bud. 
you might have to come over and unmute uh, real quick. It might be asking you to. Mm -hmm. All right. Go ahead, buddy. Manners. Manners, yeah, very good. Hey, do you remember specifically what kind of manners we were talking about? We can still hear you, Cole. Uh, manners in class? Yes, absolutely. All right, and we call that being a black belt partner, everybody on your own. Black belt partners! Black belt partners! Black belt partners. So, nice! All right, I loved hearing your, your voices there. All right, guys, so being a black belt partner in Muay Thai, um, it means a few different kinds of things, right? But I want you to tell me what it means to you, all right? Each of you guys here um, have been training Muay Thai for a little bit. Gus, it's your second class, so you know you have some experience under your belt already, right? But being a black belt partner or being a great par training partner must mean something to you. So if you guys could give me a couple of examples of that, I would love to hear them. Raise your hand real high if you can think of what or can tell us what being a black belt partner means to you. I see Esther's hand Esther. up. Um, is to have good control. Good control, that is excellent, excellent. Because if you're like all kinds of crazy and out of control, what might happen when you're training with another person? They could get Esther. hurt. They could get, they could get hurt. hurt, yeah, 100%. Also, they're not really getting the best um, example from you about how they should be acting either, especially if you're more experienced than your training partner. They need to look to you or they will 100% be looking to you for that good example of control and good manners and being kind and welcoming and all that stuff, right? So what else... Um, do you think can happen if you are being a really great training partner? What do you think um, people who you get to train with will think of that? What will happen to them? What do you think, Marcos? Um, like you could like um, tell your partner that like you're being a really good person and like they want to like practice with you more, and like probably the teacher's gonna pair you up more because like you're getting more like um, farther together in experience. Yeah, absolutely. Both of those things were right on the money. You are uh, making the other person want to train with you, but also just love what they're doing, right? If you're a good partner, that can make Muay Thai that much more appealing to the people that you get paired up with in class. Um, also, it helps them to learn. So yeah, guys, listen, um, you know, black shirt, black belt, whatever it is, we're talking about achieving your highest possible potential, right? And you have the ability, because you guys are experienced Muay Thai martial artists, you have the ability to make the Muay Thai experience really, really awesome for the people that you train with. You also have the ability to make it kind of a bad experience, right? So every single time you get the opportunity to train with somebody new, I want you to take this as a personal challenge to go out there and make this the best training experience that that person has had so that they want to run back to the Muay Thai class, just like we ran into Muay Thai class today, right? So guys, everybody repeat after me, Black Belt Partners! Black All right. Partners. Awesome. Thank you guys. Great job. Thank you so much, Coach. That was that was great. Did anyone have any questions on our mat chat or anything else today? All right, excellent. Guys, I want you to grab your gloves, come back. Let's be in our standard level 10 attention stance on three. Ready? One, two, three. Hush, gloves on. No shin guards today. And we're gonna be working on a lot of boxing. So we're gonna do, if you notice, we kind of changed the order. We're gonna do our shadow boxing together today because I wanna go over six hand combinations rather than our normal four. So 
If you have your gloves, go ahead and throw them on. If you don't, that's okay, right? If we're shadow boxing or we're with a partner, it is about my control. It's about being that black belt partner, right? We just talked about it. So if you're with a partner, um, once we get to technique, we'll make sure to retouch on that. But right now, I want everybody shadow boxing. So if you have your gloves on, let's get our feet shoulder width apart, okay? The stance that we were working on today was a little bit different, okay? Normally in our tie stance, right, we like our weight more on our back foot, longer guard with our palms out, and I'm kind of tapping the lead foot, okay? This is great for pure um, Muay Thai. If I'm trying to use my teeth, stay defensive, and clinch, okay? Now, for punching, when I have my hands out here already, I'm only getting about half of the normal uh, rotation that I would, okay? So what we're gonna do for our 50-50, our boxing style stance, is we're gonna bring our palms, we're gonna turn in, we're gonna touch just the fingers of our gloves to our eyebrows, okay? This is called a shell, right? If I'm in punching range, um, just kind of throw some punches at me when I tell you, okay? I, because the hands are so fast, by being out here, it's too many holes for coach. He's fast, he's strong, he's gonna find, boom, overhands, uppercuts, straight hooks, okay? So I need to account for that. If I'm in punching range, I like, to be more in what's called the shell. Okay, now here, if coach is punching at me, my defense is built in. Boom, 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 boom. It's a lot harder, thank you coach, okay? So this is my best place for my punching. Now, my legs, I want you to go into what's called a 50-50 stance, so equal weight, just like if you're gonna do any other sport. Rather than weight back, we're gonna have 50-50. Good, okay, so let's get moving out of this stance first, okay? Because it might be a little different. I love those hula hips, you guys. Okay, ready? So, remember, when we move in our stance, we keep our stance. It's not like walking where I'm crossing over my feet. Okay, so when I say forward, two little micro steps, pick your feet up. Ready? Forward. Good, forward. Okay, so going back. Lead with that back foot, take two little micro steps. Ready, back, back. Good, focus that balance. So now going to our right, okay? Nice and two little micro steps to the side. Right, right. And going left, we'll do the opposite. Keep your chins down. It should be like you're looking up through your eyebrows. Ready, and left, left. Follow along, ready, forward. Right, back, left, left, right, back, forward, back. Very good, okay, now, Let's get into our hand combinations. That's the only other thing we're gonna add for shadow boxing today, because there's gonna be a lot. But um, first thing, who knows combo one? I think most of you show of hands. I'm gonna call on someone. Um, Logan, don't even worry about your microphone, just in your stance, can you show me a good combo one, please? Hush, very good, again. Again. Hush, good, one more time, ready? One more time. Good, fists together for Logan. Very good, brother. Hey, so that is your jab. Remember, straight out and straight back. I'm not hammering down like I'm hammering a nail. My shoulder goes first. What do I do with my hands? I turn the knuckles over, opposite hand stays up, and I pull it back. What do we say when we punch? Hush, okay, ready. So when I say one, everyone in your stance, fast jabs with good technique, ready. And let's see it in your stance, in your stance. One. Good, straight out, right? Not up. One. Good, push that shoulder forward. One. 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 Good, who remembers combo two? Show of hands. Let's go, Esther, will you show us? Don't even worry about the microphone to show us combo two. Beautiful. Can you turn to the side as well? So go ahead, do it again. Jab, cross, beautiful, look at that hip rotation. As the jab comes back, one more time, Esther. As the jab comes back, yes, she squishes the bug on her same side foot, remember? Okay, boom, we're squishing the bug and our lead shoulder comes back. So when I say two, one, two for speed, ready? And two, ush, ush, two punches. How many breaths do I want? Two, one breath per punch. Two, hush, hush. Good, nice, Gus. Two, 
two. Good, Marcos. Two. Pick the same imaginary target, though. Try not to punch your jab here and your cross here. That's for everybody. Two. Good. Two. Two. All right, who remembers combo three? Let's see. Coach Allie, can you show us combo three? Pretty please. So we have our jab, cross, boom. And she's adding the lead hook. One more time, coach. Three. Hush, hush, hush. Beautiful. So notice, it's like she's starting a lawnmower. As she pulls that cross back, boom. That's what sets up my hook. Who's ever had to start a lawnmower? Right? It's kind of, yeah. Okay? So as I pull, start that lawnmower. Hand comes back to my head, boom. My wrist elbow and shoulder on the same line. I should be able to put a glass of water right here without having it fall off. Okay, nice and flat, thumb up, targets in front. I'm not trying to hit coach all the way in the corner. I'm trying to hit something in front. So when I say three, jab, cross, hook, watch my feet one more time. Jab, cross, hook, ready, and three. Good, three breath, three, three. Beautiful, three, nice Talia, good, okay. Um, Talia, will you add one more cross to combo three to make it combo four for us, please? Go ahead and show us, four. Jab, cross, hook, cross, beautiful, one more time. Go ahead, four, jab, cross, hook, cross. Look, where are Talia's hands coming? Down here, no, right back to her face. One more time, Talia, that looks great. Jab, cross, hook, cross. Nice, bones, bang. Okay, so when I say four, add that cross, ready? And four, hush, 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 hush. Four breaths, four punches, four. Hush, 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 hush. Beautiful, Coach Josh, four. Yes, one more, four. Okay, so on Tuesday, we added our lead uppercut to make it combo five. I'll use Coach Josh on this one. So adding our lead uppercut off of four, we go jab, cross, hook, cross, but now we're gonna bring our lead side uppercut, okay? So when we do this one, making sure, it's a lot like my hook, but my elbow's down, okay? Rather than up when I rotate. I'm still rotating, but notice the angle of my shoulders is a little different, okay? So on our four, on our five, jab, cross, hook, Cross, notice where's my elbow? Down to my hip, back of my palm. You should see the combat corner logo on my glove. Straight up, okay? So when I say five, add that lead uppercut. We're getting into some pretty long combos, you guys. You got this, ready? When I say five, let it loose, ready? Five, hush, 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 hush. Good, okay, remember, I don't wanna see arm punching. You guys see how my torso's not rotating? Make sure we get all our power from our hips. Okay, one more time, ready? Five, woo, five. Holy cow, good Esther. Five, make that uppercut clean. Nice Professor Sherry, five. Good Logan, good Gus. Okay, we're gonna add one more cross for combo six. This is a long one, six punches. So six is jab. Cross, hook, cross, uppercut, cross. Okay, six punches. Let's let it go. I want you guys getting used to volume. Okay, show me we got these and then we'll get on our bags and we'll start letting it loose. Ready? And six. Jab, cross, hook, cross, up, cross. Where are our chins? Our chins stay down. I know our punches look cool, but I can look at them through my brow too. Ready? Six. <laughs> Good, let's push some speed now. Make sure our hands come back to our guard. As the combos get longer, it's easier to let our hands come down. Make sure they come back to your head. Six. Nice, yeah, six. Woo, let it loose, one more, six. Beautiful, stay in your stance, okay? Reacting to me, I will say either a number or a direction, Hey, you're just gonna follow along in your stance. What do we say? Sure. Ready, and back. One, left, two, right, three, forward, 
four, back, five, nice, left, six, nice, right, left, back, three, forward, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold your stance, hold your stance, and time, very good job, okay, so now we'll get into uh, a little bit more of our technique, okay, so rather than on Tuesday, when we were kind of looking at um, some different jabs, what I want for this first round, okay, um, you guys know the difference between your lead hand and your rear hand, yes sir, yes sir, Okay, remember my lead is the hand that's in front. It's usually my hand that I don't write with at school, okay? So we're gonna do a round of lead hand only, okay? What are some of the punches that we could do on our lead side? Okay, this is our second week of boxing, so it's been a lot, but let's review real quick, right? On our lead hand, I have my jab. Okay, so I could jab. I have my lead hook. Coming from the side, we went over. I have my lead uppercut that we went over. Okay, remember our body hook. This might be new. If my hook is here and my uppercut is here, okay, like this, my body shot comes in between those two punches, what we call a shovel hook, okay? So when he wants to target my body, his palm is up, he's coming kind of under my ribs, right? So we have our body hook, Bang. right? Remember from Tuesday, we showed some different jabs. We showed the double jab. Um, we showed our skinny, our up jab. We showed our power jab where we're loading our shoulder. Okay, so we're gonna do a round of lead hand only, right? And then we're gonna do a round of rear hand only, but I want you to mix it up. Remember our concept of reloading. If I throw a hook and my weight has transferred, I have to reset my weight watching my feet, right? Because if I leave my weight here, I'm unbalanced, right? I transfer my weight, I reload. So, lead hand only, a minute and a half, okay? And let's slowly build the speed and power. Okay, with a partner, you're just calling out, okay? Um, so I want you to call, let's see, if you're with a partner, we'll go four punches and then we'll switch. Okay, so if I'm with coach here, jab, that's one. Hook, that's two. Uppercut, that's three. Body hook, that's four. Then he tells me four punches. Double jab. Double jab. Up jab. Up jab. Hook. Hook. Body. And body, right? If you're on the bag, you're staying active the whole time. Any questions? Hold up your lead hand. Ah, uh, the hand of destiny. Learn how to make this hand do work. Ready, on three. Lead hand only, boxing. One, two, three, hush, let's go, you guys. We got a minute and a half. You can watch Coach on the back. If you're shadow boxing, I'm still getting a good round. Nice, Coach. Good, beautiful, okay? Perfect. You guys can see Coach Maria. Beautiful double jab, Coach. Yes, she's got her up jab, working her doubles. Good, nice, Talia, good jab. Pull it back just as fast. Nice hook. Wee, good. Beautiful. Yeah, Marcos. Good. Face the camera for me. Let me see. Good. Jab. Hook. Good. Uppercut. Double. Yeah, good, buddy. Very good. Keep it up. Let's go. We have about 45 seconds. Nice. Gus is on the bag. I want you to put your eyes. Make sure you're looking where you're hitting, Gus. Very good. Holy cow. This isn't your second class. You've done more than one class, dude. Holy, man, you got some technique already. Danny and Grayson, holy moly, I wanna see something. Give me some shadow boxing, lead hand only, or call combos for each other. Watching Coach Kate, uh, 20 seconds, pick it up. Only my lead hand, I'm using my shoulders, I'm using my hips. Good, you can watch Coach. Nice, Shandy, keep those boys busy, let's go. Ah, good. Hands come back to your guard. Remember, in freestyle, I got to keep them up a little higher. Nice. Two, one, and time. Good. Looking in. Okay. 
Let's do one round with our rear hand only. Okay, so same thing. What are some of my rear hand punches? I have my cross, right? I have my rear uppercut. I have my rear hook. I have my rear body hook, okay? There's some different punches that we can use. Now, my rear side is a, it's, it's a mostly power, okay? There's not really a jab for our rear side. So this round is gonna be a little more taxing on our power side. I need rotation in the hips and coming back, okay? Watching my foot, right? When we punch, we don't just use our arms, especially on our rear side. Hush, twist, hush, twist, hush, twist, okay? So this is fun, this should be your power side, rear hand only for one and a half minutes, the same length of what we call the YDL rounds, which you guys uh, who compete, that's what you'll be competing in. So let's get in our stance, please show me rhythm. One minute and a half, rear hand only on three, ready? One, two, three, hush, let's go, rear hand, minute and a half. Show us how it's done, coach. Shake the building for us. Ah, that's, that's scary over there. Holy cow. Nice, coach. Good. Beautiful. Nice. Danny Grayson, I want you to call four punches for each other. Right? So, Danny, you call a cross, an uppercut, right? Any four rear hand punches? Then Grayson will do the same for you. Good, nice coach, Justin. Yeah, working your ankles too, brother. Good. Nice, Esther, rotate. Get a little more bend in the knees, just a little since we're punching. Remember, for this, for my weighted back, right, this is good for keeping and checking. For punching, I'm just a little bit more, remember the 50-50, so equal weight distribution. That will help me punch more. Guys, we have 45 or 35 seconds, let's go, okay? Let's put it together. Hush. Good. We're breathing. Hush. We're breathing when we strike. Good. Bye. Very nice. Coach Shandy keeping them busy. Beautiful cross. Colin and Clayton, that is great, you guys. Keep that up. Let's go. Let's go. 15 seconds. Let's work. See it, Talia. Keep that other hand up. As you throw your right. Yeah. Right? That left hand stays glued to your eyebrows. Very good. Rotate. Yes, you guys look beautiful. Let it go. Three, two, one, time. Hey, sitting in your chair. This is called shoe shine. I want you to run those uppercuts as fast as you can. Let's go. 17, 16, 15, run your feet. Go. Uppercuts, go, go, go. 10 seconds, let's go. Come on, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Six, five, four. Three, two, one, and time. Very, very good. Guys, really nice, okay? Um, so, I want to get into the combo that we started on Tuesday, but didn't make it all the way through, okay? So now, as we're getting more advanced, you guys know there's a difference in range, right? My jab is longer than my hook, okay? There are shorter and longer punches. So it's important that we understand the difference, right? If I'm standing all the way across from Coach Josh, right, and jabbering, and I throw a hook, there's no point, right? I need to understand the distance of my strikes. Same thing with my cross, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our jab cross to, uh, put something in my opponent's face so I can sneakily bring my feet closer to hook range, okay? Right, because it's not about punches and, and kicks. It's about lies and tricks, right? I want to lie to him and make him think I'm doing something else. So when I hit my one, two for this round, right? Start a little bit out of range. Stepping with my lead side, stepping with my cross. You guys see how I get closer? Watch my feet, hush, hush. My punches land as my feet go. From here, now I'm in the power hook range, okay? So I want lead hook to the head, rear hook to the head. So pretty simple, straight punches into power hooks. But let's start a little outside of our jab, okay? So I step, one, two, hush, hush. Okay, one more time. And we're gonna add on to this 
Once I see everyone doing good. One, two, hush, hush. One, two. Lead hook, rear hook. Show me we're good with that, then we're gonna add on. Any questions? Okay, I need you rotating, twisting your body when you throw those hooks. Let's get to work on three. Jab cross to enter, hook, hook, to let them know you're there. On three, ready? One, two, three, ha, let's go. Coach will be on the back for you. Hey, jab cross to close the distance. Hook, hook, so if I'm shadow boxing, I just imagine, boom, 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 boom. Okay, so my feet stay planted on the hooks. Step, step, jab, cross, twist, twist on my hooks. Ugh. Yes, make sure we're stepping with our punches. That's where our focus is. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, hook, hook. Let's go. Hush, 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 hush. Let's pick up that speed. Remember, I need a good jab, cross to set this whole combo up. Let's see it, Marcos. Are you moving your feet on your jab cross? All right, let's see it again. Hun, hun, bang, bang. Knock him out. That's my man. Step, step, hook, hook, good. Now, remember, watch. I, I don't want to throw my hook from here because what do you see open? Remember, my hook comes from my guard. Ha. So jab, cross, my hands are tight. Hook, hook, okay, keep it up. 10 more seconds, then we're going to add on. 10 more seconds. Jab cross, hook, hook to the head. Good, Esther, I want you stepping, stepping with your one, two. Good, that's it, as you punch. Try to land your punch, try to land your jab as I step, step, good, it's tricky. Nice, okay, we're gonna add on, looking in now. Right, so now, this is one of my favorite four punch combos. It's just lead hook, rear hook, and then lead hook body, rear hook body. So we're gonna add that, okay? Coach is gonna step in with his jab cross. Bong, bong, he's in hook range. He's gonna go lead hook to the head, rear hook to the head, lead hook to the body, rear hook to the body, okay? This is kind of fun. Now, what I don't want, if you see me on the back, is this when you get to the hooks. Hey, with your hands now. A lot of us want to do that. My hands come back to my head. My rule for punching, I can't throw my lead hand unless my rear hand touches my eyebrow. I can't throw my rear hand unless my lead hand touches my eyebrow. Okay, so now, step. Notice how I'm getting closer. Step, now I'm in hook range. Lead hook, rear hook, lead hook body, rear hook body. Okay, one more time. Hush, 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 hush. And you can let those punches fly, but I need good technique. Adding the lead hook to the body and rear hook to the body. Any questions? Does anyone need to see it again? Show of hands. Let's get it on three, ready? One, two, three, hush, let's go. So after you get in, it's a flurry, fists of fury, ha, ah, ah, ha, ah. ha. Four punches, fast and strong. Hush, 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 hush. Good. One, two. Good, good power. Let's go, I want you to be tired. Let's break a sweat. Nice, Coach Justin. Esther, that's beautiful. Danny, that was nice. One more time, bud. One, two, pop, 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 pop. Yes, let him go. Ah. It's like if I just get on the inside and I just twist, twist my body. Good. Let's see it, Gus. Jab, cross, hook, 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 hook. Yeah, so four hooks, Gus. One, two, three, four. Yes, beautiful, buddy. Good, let's see it. Guys, I got 15 more seconds. Good, Danny. Grayson, I wanna see you do that one when you get your gloves on too, buddy. Yeah, and I go my palms facing up on my body hooks. Bang, 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 bang. Let's go. 10, nine, eight. Good, a couple fast ones, coach. Seven, six. Let's see it, Esther. One, two. Hook, hook, body, body, yes, and time. Guys, in your stance. Let me see everyone in your stance. Okay, uh, drop it down just a little bit. We're gonna do straight punches as we do squats. Ready, and go. Okay, we get water after this. Good, 10 more seconds, faster. Five. Four, come on, three, two, one, and time. Holy cow, there are 
have only three minutes left in class. Guys, grab a quick sip of water, gloves off, and then bring it back. Man, I got a little carried away with talking about boxing. I get a little excited when we talk about punching. I can't help it. It's really all I got. All right. Good job. Gloves off. We're going to do a cool down round before we start taking our seats. Okay. So we're just going to do about a minute. I want you guys, we just finished that last round at 100% speed and power. Let's bring it down to about 20% and the focus on good technique, right? So now if I go slow, boom, I want us to think about the combinations we've gone over today, right? Jab, cross, hook, 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 hook. Um, we worked some different combinations. We went up to five. We did our six combo. So we're just gonna do 20 seconds of slow shadow boxing with perfect technique, okay? Show me that perfect technique and then we'll close it out. Okay, on three, one minute of shadow, cool down, ready? One, two, three. Focus here, stepping in, knowing my range for my punches. Okay, good. We went over different jabs, up jab, safety lead, double jab, setting up the rear hand, good. One twos with footwork. Okay, nothing crazy right now though. Ish, 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 ish. Good. Add in all your weapons: knees, elbows, kicks. But I still want lots of punches. Hush, 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 hush. Hush, 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 hush. Target the body. Target the head. Remember, we were doing our squats. That's how you hit to the body. Hush, 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 hush. We work your fun stuff. Hey. Hush, 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 hush. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right, you guys, let's bring it in, please. Wow, I can't believe how fast these classes go. You guys give me such good, uh, here, I'll, I'll come down here. <laughs> I don't wanna block coach out. Uh, you guys give me such good focus and make teaching so much fun. I didn't even realize we spent the, we went through the whole class. So that's just a testament to how hard you guys are working. And you guys are being black belt students and partners for me, okay? Which is what Coach Kate talked about. You're working, you're trying. When I give you advice, you're saying, okay, I'll try that instead of, oh, I thought I was doing it right. Everybody is challenging themselves and showing me some really, really awesome stuff. So real quick, Let's just give ourselves a hand. That was a really fun class today, you guys. Okay, on your feet, please. We have a couple of announcements to get for you guys before we break. Um, for those of you that are in our kids' jujitsu, you might have noticed new schedule started this week. So um, classes for jujitsu are broken up by little tigers, tigers, and tigers intermediate. So make sure you check the schedule for our jujitsu students as well. Um, we have Coach E doing a class now. We have Professor Peter still and Coach Jamin. Guys, the Easton Bingo, we talked about at the beginning of class. If you go to the Easton Facebook or Instagram, you'll see a bingo board. You get uh, to, block, to mark off uh, spaces doing classes, right? So, or different things. One of them says, take two Zoom classes in a day. One of them says, take another martial art that you don't normally take. One of them is, drink a gallon of water in a day. There's lots of stuff. One of them is, Call a friend and check in on them, okay? But the winner, uh, we're gonna pick a few who blacks out their boards, is gonna win these cool new Easton hoodies. The reason why these are so cool is they're called a quick flip. I always do this in the middle of class, but um, I can turn this hoodie into a backpack. I think you guys have seen these before, but it's pretty cool. So when I go hiking and stuff, and I start to get a little warm, boom. I just turned my sweater into my backpack and I'm ready to go. So, Easton Bingo. Um, we have a Boulder Muay Thai, kids Muay Thai on Saturday at 11. You're all invited, right? We say it's from Boulder, but um, if you guys wanna jump in, Coach Jackie, who runs our kids Muay Thai program here, does that class, she is amazing. Um, you can find all of our announcements online on the Easton at Home Hub. So just go EastonBJJ.com. We'll have all the announcements I just told you. Guys, amazing work, okay? As we're going through this, 
I want you guys to have a couple goals, right? Or things that you might want to accomplish, whether it's picking up a new activity, whether it's learning a new combo, reading a new book, um, trying a new food, right? I think it's important, especially now, where we're not as exposed to each other to keep our goals, right? And it's fun. Um, that's something I do. I love goal setting and different things because for some reason it's hard for me. If I don't have that, that goal in mind, I can get a little bit uh, what we call lackadaisical or lazy a little bit, okay? So think, maybe come up with a few goals, couple small and one big, whether it's related to martial arts, sports, school and academics, whatever it is, let's check back in next week. Um, see if we uh, came up with anything or hit any new goals. And that'll be a lot of fun. Beautiful job. Uh, we'll see you next Tuesday or this Saturday. Let's have feet together, hands together. Good wise. Girls, we say cup kung ka. Boys, it's cup kung ka with a P. Good wise, say cup kung ka. Thank you so much, coaches. Coach Josh, Coach Justin, Coach Nate, Coach Ali, Coach Maria, Coach Kate. I am so, so lucky to have all these guys. We'll go ahead and unmute.